Well, we all know who Batman is, and this is an old video that I had, and I never actually put it together, so I apologise for the lateness. Enjoy. Hello, and welcome to Cinture Orange Corner, and today we are reviewing from the McFarlane Toys Batman, from the DC Multiverse line. Now, I'm not going out there to buy all these. This is just simply me just reviewing this figure to put him on the shelf. Uh, and this will be solely my Batman to go with my Superman. And my local Smiths had this guy for £7. All the others are 9 99 but this one alone is £7. So if you're after this variant, uh, then go out there and check your local store. For seven quid, you cannot go wrong as they normally retail at £20. So anyway, here he is in his window display. We've got a kind of grappling hook here and a batarang down here and he's all nice in that grey and blue which is what I like. So on the side we just got Batman Detective Comics 1000. On this side we just got Batman with the window and on the back we've got the picture inside he looks like his bat cave or something like that with the Joker and all that there and obviously the wave at the bottom. So without further ado let's just crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack, nothing really hidden away, no hidden accessories. So we'll just use our first impressions to see what it's like before going for his review. He's stuck right in there. And yeah. Is looking really nice, really kind of cool. I really like this look. This is my kind of Batman, uh, and he looks fantastic. So we're just gonna go away, take his pictures, and we'll see you in a moment. So we've been away, we're taking this guy's photos and I must admit this guy is fantastic. And I can't believe he's a variant. Like to me, this will be a pinnacle kind of Batman release, uh, especially if it makes it harder for people that do collect this line, like solely that it would be quite hard to get this guy. I don't know why to me, this is the Batman that I would want rather than the Batman that it's a variant of. So looking at the card that he does come with, which we can count as one of his accessories, this is the Batman that he's supposed to be. I mean, I would understand if it was a different color, sort of bat sign here or something like that, but it's literally this Batman. I just, uh, it baffles me how it's a variant of this guy, uh, definitely. Um, so yeah, we've got a shiny card. I think that might be because it is the variant and um, which is pretty cool. On the back here, we've got the bio and obviously like these extra parts up here telling us who, who he is, if we didn't know already. So other accessories that he comes with, he comes with this like Batarang, uh, which is quite a nice little uh, thing on here. It holds it in both hands quite nicely, uh, but there's no kind of peg or anything. We can't sort of attach it to the figure. I know he doesn't normally have them attached to the side, but you know, it's just, other than that, it's just a little kind of little tiny black accessory. The grappling gun itself, I would have thought it might be a different type of grappling gun. Uh, maybe one that looks like the old Star Trek phasers rather than sort of gas canister and stuff on the side. To me, this looks a little bit, I don't know, too technical in a way. Uh, and then on the end, we've got a little bat kind of grappling hook, uh, which looks more like Count Dracula's kind of medallion in a way. Uh, and then we've got this extra really thick, uh, can't do anything with it. Um, sort of the wire and stuff there. So yeah, I'm not too, not too fussed on the accessories. The Batarang obviously is pretty cool, but on this part, not really. It comes with a stand as well, just solid black with a DC and a pin. And it's just a shame that they don't all come with flight stands. I know he doesn't fly, but he's got the grappling hook. We can do some sort of like shooting kind of sort of like jumping actions and stuff like that, rather than just having him just sort of stand on a tiny little disc. Um, because that then makes me feel like Superman's a bit more worth money. I know this guy got him for seven pounds, but he really retails at 19. So it's kind of like, it doesn't just weigh up properly for the actual uh, accessories on there. I would be disappointed if I pay full price for these figures, to be honest. So looking at the Batman himself, and um, yeah, his articulation and everything as well is pretty cool. 
So head wise, we got left, we got right. You can sort of look up, not too bad, and you can look down as well. Arm wise, they're kind of hindered by his back shoulders, so he can only come up this far. Uh, we've got an upper thigh kind of rotation here at the bicep, and obviously his arms can come up this way. He's got a double hinged elbow, and we've got a swivel at the wrist, and it's on a kind of like a little pivot kind of thing there. Uh, the rotation at the glove and anything there, it's not there, it's just a mould part of plastic. Waist wise, you can swivel here, and you can look down, not much, and back a little bit. And then we've got a lower swivel as well at the waist, just on the belt line. Leg wise, you can come up this far, you can kick forward that way and back, but we do have these ugly hinges on the display as well if you do open up his legs. We've got a double knee joint here. We've got a rotation as well at the ankle and it's also on a pivot and we have toe articulation as well, just there. So in all, it's not too bad. It is quite hindered by his cape and his shoulders and stuff like that. But really when you sort of have Batman just sort of standing there, he does look quite rigid and stuff like that. And this, to be honest, out of the Todd McFarlane line, this will be the only Batman that I'll get. Um, they are a little bit too tall for me in um, in my sort of figure collection, really. But uh, I just needed someone to keep Superman company. But I think Superman might be, I might pick up a few variants of him, sort of the Red Sun and definitely Bizarro. But um, Batman, this will be the only one. So really kind of we can look at his actual sculpt and everything on there and I think this guy looks pretty cool actually. The eyes, we've got a little kind of black line around the outside, the mouth and everything on there. It kind of looks like the animated one and I know Todd McFarlane have actually um, brought out a sort of animation Batman but to me this one I would rather see more kind of extra paint apps on there just to sort of darken the cape on the back and have the light blue underneath. I think this guy would actually look superb. So we've got the bat symbol on there. It's all really clean. It's really crisp. The grey as well. It's like a nice matte all over, which is pretty cool. And obviously the bat gloves uh, with these sort of like the fin pipes sticking out here. We've got a bit of animation and stuff on this one. I know maybe it's just where I bent it. Who knows? And then down here we've got a bit of raffle bits on these gloves, pants, the nice yellow capsule, yellow belt on there. And then down to his boots as well, looking very Batman-esque. And the cape is a really nice sweeping cape as well. Um, would I want to see cloth? No, it's the same as Superman. I'd rather have this kind of sort of S cape, especially for guys like this. It makes them look more kind of, even when they're standing still, a little bit more sort of dramatic rather than a sort of like a, a limped cloth cape, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, in all for seven quid, can't go wrong. Get out there now, get to your Smith store, especially if you want this guy, you know, uh, trying to reserve him online as well. I think, to be honest, there's not going to be that many out there. And then we can actually put him next to the Superman and um, the colours really match really nicely. I'm glad it's not the same sort of blue on him and not on him. him. It's just got that, it's just enough difference on there, which is pretty cool. Size comparison though, Batman's shoulders are a lot higher than Superman's and his head's a lot smaller than Superman's. So, it is a shame that they don't really match superbly, which is a, a big shame to me. I, I think I do prefer the Batman kind of build, uh, especially for this side. Batman looks a little bit too slender, but I think he's got better articulation and actually probably sculpted a lot better than Superman. But, you know, it's all pros and cons, I guess, at the end of the day. But here we are. We can actually compare him next to a Black Series figure. So I'm going to bring in Boba Fett for this one. And um, yeah, as you can see, they are a lot taller than the Black Series. For uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends, they're, uh, obviously these ones always stand a little bit taller than the Black Series, even though they do class them as six inch. Um, and obviously there is a bit more of a sort of size comparison between these as well. So, you know, it's not too bad. If you're taking pictures and stuff like that for Instagram, then you're gonna to have to use a few sort of photography kind of techniques on there to bring their sizes down. But apart from that, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. If you can get them for cheap, even better. For 20 quid, then, you know, if this is your kind of sort of like thing that you wanna go for, then just go for them, they look pretty cool. But this variant of Batman, you know, as a Black Series collector, is quite nice. So thank you once again for joining me in this one. You can comment down below, you can follow me on Instagram where you'll be seeing more pictures of these guys on my Instagram account. And I'll see you again next time. So take care.